This tutorial will show you how to perform a measurement using the AXS120. You may want to set the basic acquisition parameters before starting a measurement according to your needs. From the main screen, you can directly set the distance range, pulse width, acquisition duration, and auto test mode by clicking on them. Note that the range must be set to a value superior to the length of the fiber under test, so you get the analysis of the complete fiber. The pulse corresponds to the pulse width for the test. Know that not all pulse widths are compatible with all distance ranges. The duration corresponds to the acquisition duration, referring to the period during which results will be averaged. Use the arrow shortcut menu to adjust autosave, navigation, wavelengths, fiber management, and pass-fail criteria. If this is your first time using the device, you'll need to activate these features to see them in the shortcut menu. Scan the QR code on your device to access the configuration details in the user manual. To perform measurements, clean the connectors properly. Connect the launch fiber or the fiber under test to the AXS handheld OTDR port. Before recording your measurement, you need to choose where to save your results. You must select the job, then the test point. To select a job, go to the My Jobs page and select the job you want to activate. Once you have selected the job, select the test point you want to probe. Note that you can select another test point on the OTDR main page by clicking the test point name at the top of the screen. Finally, tap the button to start the measurement. Note that when a measurement is underway, the navigation arrows are disabled and you cannot browse through the measurements you have already performed. To save measurements manually, once the measurement is complete, you can save it by tapping the quick save icon at the top of the window. The icon will change to indicate that the measurement is saved. If you try to move to another test point without saving, a warning message will appear reminding you to save. After saving, you can navigate to the next test point and your unit will be ready for a new measurement. You can set the measurement to save automatically by enabling this function in the settings menu. To redo a measurement, simply select the measurement you want to perform again. Then tap the start icon to redo the measurement. You will be prompted to confirm that you want to overwrite the existing measurement. The new result is available as soon as the measurement is complete. The AXS120 also lets you monitor fibers in real-time mode. This mode shows sudden changes in the fiber link, with the trace continuously updating until you end the acquisition. To start the real-time action, tap the real-time measurement mode. While the monitoring is running, tap the Scope button to access the trace viewer, where you can zoom in or out of the trace by pinching in or out of the screen, change the wavelength, distance, and pulse values like you can in the standard view, plus move markers A and B. Note that since this is real-time action, no status or acquisition data will appear on screen when you stop monitoring by tapping the Real-Time Measurement Mode button again. However, tapping the Start button during active real-time monitoring will initiate a standard acquisition using your chosen settings. For more assistance on this subject, scan the QR code on the unit to quickly access support resources.